In this tutorial, we're going to take some time to create and modify a linear link in OpenVSP. And in this case, we're using our link setup example. All we're going to do is link the span to the root chord like we did in the introduction. So if we go to model and link, it'll bring up this window. And since we want span to be our driving parameter, we're gonna set it up in Parm A. So we can click and drop. There we go. And we want root chord to be our driven parameter B. Drop that in there. So instead of, say, an offset, let's turn that off and turn on scale and say that we want this to be 25%. Okay. So let's go ahead and click Add Link. That adds the link and then enforces it. So you can see that span is in green, meaning it's a driving parameter. Red is indicating that it's a driven parameter. It updated and enforced. So now if we come in and start playing around with the span, you can see that we're moving this around and it's all linked. Now, you can come in and delete this link by highlighting it and clicking delete link. You can sort them by the A value or B value if you have several in here. So if you want, say, uh, a big list of all of the links in your model and you want them organized by either the parameter that's driving or the parameter that's being driven, you can do that. You can also delete all links at once. Just be careful when you do that because once they're gone, they're gone. And then there's this other component called constraints. Now we'll get into that in just a minute, but note that maybe we don't like 25%. Maybe we want 33. You just do that, press enter and all of a sudden it adjusts. Now note what happened. I changed this value, but the tips out here at the wingtips got black and have this weird shading. Now you can't see this in a wire view. You can kind of see that all the points are going to one location. That's one indicator. In hidden, you can't really see it either. But if you go to a shaded view, what's happening is the surface rendering is telling you that there is an inverted point or singularity out there. And that's a big clue that something has gone wrong. Your shading should not look like this. So what has happened is we prescribed the root chord to violate this average chord value. It's bigger than six. The average chord is set to three. So the taper ratio, the tip chord should be either equal to or even less than zero. And that can't happen. So what we need to do instead is set up a constraint. So in this case, you can put upper and lower bounds on this B parameter. So if we say we want this to be just under six, so we don't violate the, the geometric shape of the wing, say 5.99, and press enter, all of a sudden, this shape makes sense again. Now, if I come in, my rule applies and my linear link does exactly what I want it to up to a certain point, and then the span will keep growing but the root chord doesn't change, the average chord doesn't change, and the tip chord isn't violated. So you don't end up with these weird little singularities. So keep that stuff in mind. We're going to cover it in a bit more detail in the best practices lectures, but this gives you an idea of how to add and modify and remove linear links in OpenVSP.